highways, bridges, dams, water lines, airports, railways. The United States has been facing, but not acting, on decaying infrastructure for decades now, falling behind major powers, China first and foremost, especially when it comes to its transportation systems. Candidate Trump used it as a rallying cry during his 2016 campaign, saying that airports in the United States were worse than in some developing countries. As president, though, he spent his term fixating on a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. President Biden is now trying to take the bull by the horn with a massive infrastructure plan to revamp America's major infrastructure. As impressive as its price tag may seem, over $2 trillion, it remains modest considering the needs. And yet, Republicans and even some Democrats are already signaling that raising corporate taxes to upgrade the country's infrastructure all public goods, is a non-starter. And so, in short, while China is investing heavily in a network of bullet trains, airports, highways, in addition to 5G technology, the United States is still debating whether safe drinking water, safe dams, an efficient railway system, investment in renewable energy are all worth raising corporate taxes by just a few percentage points, and whether it is a worthy goal for the United States